Hey everybody, Ryan O'Halloran, Jaguars beat reporter for the Florida Times Union back here at Everbank Field on Monday afternoon. 3.30 came early, folks. That was the wake-up call of Pittsburgh this morning. We flew back through Atlanta, but we're here uh, for locker room and for Coach Doug Marone. A couple takeaways from uh, Doug Marone's uh, session with the media. One, Tayshawn Gibson. He was in a walking boot uh, today after injuring his right foot. He played the first 44 snaps, did not return. Uh, I asked Gip today, no way he's missing Sunday, right? And he said, no way. You know, Doug, Doug was like, yeah, we'll see another 48 hours until they actually practice, but I think they may uh, you know, take it easy on him this week. It's a, he's a big player in this game, depending on what the Jaguars want to do with tight end Rob Gronkowski. You know, you put a corner on him, which you haven't really seen a lot. You put a linebacker on him, that's really never worked. So does a uh, safety like Gibson or Barry Church, are, there, uh, are they the best two options? I think they're going to mix it up, but we can get into the Gronkowski problem later this week. Second part is uh, TJ Eldon. Uh, sick and inactive against Buffalo. Remember, he was inactive, a healthy scratch early in the season. But his touches have gone up and down, but he always seems to find a way to uh, produce. And you know, one thing Marone reiterated today is, you know, it's a nice problem to have, but it's always been a struggle managing Fournette, which is obviously the starter. Ivory, which is obviously somebody who's fallen off the uh, depth chart and yelled, and uh, how do you get touches for everybody? Really, right now, there's only room for two of those three players. You know, Leonard's always going to be one of them. So last thing, you enter this new week now, and uh, you know every word is going to be dissected, and every storyline is going to be talked about ad nauseum. And you know Jalen Ramsey's comments about uh, you know the Super Bowl at the uh, Pep Rally or homecoming last night. I don't have a problem with it. He wasn't guaranteeing a victory. He certainly was not guaranteeing a victory. Uh, he's confident in his group. Uh, he was trying to get the crowd revved up. You know, when you get in front of that stage with 10,000 fans, maybe you know you're emotional. Uh, your confidence level grows, but uh, I don't think that's going to have any bearing on the game, uh, even if the Patriots think it will. You know, just like I don't think it, uh, Mike Mitchell and Le'Veon Bell's comments during the week had any impact on the Jaguars and their win over Pittsburgh. So that's a wrap up from Doug Brown's press conference on Monday. We'll be back uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then uh, all of us head up to Foxborough, Massachusetts, Sunday, 3:05 for the AFC title game. For Jacksonville.com, I'm Ryan O'Halloran.